Hello. Today is the eleventh day of the fasting of Daniel, and I'm going to read here to to you a message from Bishop Macedo from his blog. You'll be able also to follow the link and read it for yourself. It says like this: Let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. It is done. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of water of life freely to him who thirst. Quoting from Revelation chapter 21, verse six, there is a fountain of the water of life next to you. Even if your desert is the worst in the world, however, you must dig, dig and dig until you find this water. The well spring may be deep, but what's most important is that he exists and has the water of life. If you are waiting for someone to come dig for you, forget about it. Everyone is busy digging for themselves. Don't wait for anyone, or else you will dry up in this desert. Do you believe there is water of life under your feet? So don't waste any more time. Start digging. Use all your strength, all your physical and spiritual resources. But dig. Take a look at the testimonies of some of people who who also received the Holy Spirit in these twenty-one days. I'm gonna read to you the testimony of Alina Sariva. She says, "The great day has arrived. On my knees in the bathroom at my job, with the lights turned off and completely surrounded, while listening to the to your words, Bishop, when you were seeking the Holy Spirit." It was finally my turn. I was touched. I was filled, as my husband describes it. I went down the highest roller coaster and was overcome by an indescribable feeling. My father looked at me and blessed me with the Holy Spirit. I cried like a child, and my mouth repeated words of gratitude. I would also like to thank the Universal Church. You, the pastors, assistants, and my husband Anderson, who helped me get closer to God, which led to such a special and unforgettable day. Oh, what a day! Well, she was baptized with the Holy Spirit, even after listening to the message of Bishop Macedo, praying together with him. And today we'll have this opportunity as well. We are going to be together in the church at 7 p.m. seeking for the Holy Spirit, and you should join us so these 21 days can be effective to you. But bear in mind, you have to dig deep. You have to take your water, your old water, and exchange for the water Jesus gives, the water of life, the water that will endure for everlasting life. All right, may God bless you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.